Life has a way of weighing us down. Whether it's bills, emergencies, or the monotonous grind of daily routines, it can all feel a bit soul crushing. But don't worry, you found just the video you didn't know you need. From bees love for all things caffeinated to the 18th century farting club, this list is packed with exciting morsels that'll lift your spirits and get you out of that slump. Are you ready? I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 fun facts to brighten your day. 25. The Colonial PDA Crackdown Back in Colonial New Haven, Connecticut, sneaking a public kiss was a serious scandal. Even if you were married, showing affection out in the open could lead to major trouble. The Puritan authorities of the day had zero tolerance for indecent displays, believing any public snuggle or smooch could send the whole colony spiraling. Couples caught in the act didn't just get a slap on the wrist, they risked a fine or even being thrown into the stocks. So yeah, for colonial couples, any form of affection was a strictly at-home affair. 24. The original sexy superfood. Pfft, forget oysters and chocolate. In early modern England, beans were all the rage. People back then believed that certain foods could spark desire based on a mix of warming effects, nourishment, or, strangely enough, resemblance to body parts. But here's where it gets weird. Beans fell into a category called windy meats, foods that caused flatulence. The idea was that all of that um, extra air could help inflate men for the bedroom. Yes, as odd as it may sound, beans and peas were dished out to men in need of a bit more vigor. <laughs> I'm on to you, British beans on toast. 23. The original snow cone. What's the first thing you think of when it snows? Snow angels? Sledding? Maybe a snowball fight? Or just, it's Florida, I can't believe it's snowing. How about some snow mixed with a bit of fruit juice? No? Well, as far back as 3000 BC, ancient civilizations were flavoring the odd bucket of snow for the ultimate cold dessert. In Asia, it was served to emperors, while Alexander the Great enjoyed snow with honey. The Roman emperor Nero even sent runners to fetch fresh snow, mixing it with fruits and juices for a sweet, icy delight. Back then, only the elite could splurge on icy treats. By the 20th century, though, frozen desserts like sorbet became a sweet staple for everyone. No snow runners required. 22. From dating dreams to viral videos. Before it became the go-to site for everything from cat videos to makeup tutorials, YouTube had a totally different purpose. Matchmaking. When YouTube launched in 2005, co-founders Jawad Karim, Stephen Chen, and Chad Hurley envisioned it as a place for users to meet potential partners. The tagline even encouraged users to tune in, hook up. But despite their best efforts, including offering $20 to any woman willing to upload a video, no one took the bait. So they switched gears, allowing users to post videos about anything. And the rest is internet history. 21. The Curious Case of the Giggle Mug Once upon a time, politics was full of giggle mugs. People who kept a smile plastered on even when it didn't quite match the mood. These days, there are more triggered mugs, but let's leave it at that. The term doesn't just mean a smiling face, it implies that the grain might be a bit forced. Politics might be packed with them, but the word itself actually comes from British slang, where mug referred to a face. Think of those old face decorated Toby jugs from the 17th century. The giggle part dates to the 1500s and was inspired by the sound of laughter itself. So the next time someone's acting a little too chipper, just think giggle mug. It'll help you get through it. 20. The art of knowing when to zip it. Most people can read social cues, but knowing when to stop talking, well, that's a whole other story. In a recent study, pairs of volunteers chatted and then rated their experience. Nearly 70% admitted their partners stretched the conversation out way too long. The best part? Each person thought that the other wanted to keep talking longer than they actually did. So, it's no wonder we all know a chatty Kathy who totally misses those subtle, please stop talking signals. 19. The giant producers. Believe it or not, elephants have their own version of purring. However, instead of the soft rhythmic sounds that cats make, elephants produce low frequency rumbles called infrasounds, which can travel for miles. These deep vibrations are a crucial part of elephant social life, letting herds communicate over vast distances. And while it might not be a purr in the traditional sense, it's the elephant's way of saying, I'm here and I'm content. 18. Nature's Tiny Jetpackers Dragonfly nymphs might be small, but they've got a seriously cool superpower. Underwater jet propulsion. 
When these nymphs want to zoom around or escape predators, they suck in water through their butts, yeah, butts, and shoot it back out with force, propelling themselves forward like tiny torpedoes. They also use this method to breathe. So dragonfly nymphs literally survive by jigging around and breathing through their butts. 17, the world's top tire producer. When you think of the world's largest tire manufacturer, brands like Goodyear, Bridgestone might come to mind. But the top spot actually belongs to Lego. In 2010 alone, Lego made approximately 381 million rubber tires for its toy cars and trucks, and they've held the Guinness World Record for the most tires produced each year since 2011. Yes, they are toy-sized, but Lego's tire game is no joke. Their production leaves major tire companies in the dust. 16. The Ladybug has an evil twin. Our friendly, garden-loving Ladybug has a doppelganger, but don't be fooled. The Asian Lady Beetle looks similar, but brings none of the Ladybug's charm or luck. Introduced to control pests, these beetles have since spread as an invasive species. Unlike their angelic cousins, Asian Lady Beetles can bite, swarm homes by the hundreds, and leave behind a stinky yellow stain when disturbed. They're a little bigger and sport a telltale M shape on the back of their heads. So if one shows up uninvited, don't roll out the welcome mat. 15. The Napoleon Dynamite Problem when Netflix launched its $1 million competition to improve its recommendation algorithm, they didn't expect Napoleon Dynamite to nearly derail the whole thing. The quirky, love it or hate it film wasn't alone in the Troublemaker lineup. Lost in Translation and Miss Congeniality joined in, giving Netflix's system a serious headache. These movies had such polarizing appeal that it was impossible for the algorithm to predict who would enjoy them, and user ratings ranged from 1 to 5 stars. After tons of coding and problem solving, a team finally cracked the 10% improvement goal, but not without some human versus machine drama along the way. Sadly, Napoleon Dynamite isn't even on Netflix anymore, and the fans have been left with nothing but memories of Tater Tots and Vote for Pedro posters. 14. Only good guys get iPhones. Have you ever seen a villain with an iPhone? According to Knives Out director Ryan Johnson, there's a reason for that. While Apple has never confirmed or denied the so-called no villains clause, Johnson is one of the few filmmakers who's talked about it publicly. In a 2020 interview with Vanity Fair, he revealed, quote, Apple lets you use iPhones in movies, but, and this is pivotal, bad guys cannot have iPhones on camera. Johnson even joked that every filmmaker with a hidden villain wants to murder me right now for giving away the secret. So the next time you watch something and can't figure out who to trust, keep an eye on those phones. The bad guy won't have one. 13. The forest's forgetful planners. Squirrels might forget their stashed acorns all the time, but it turns out it's actually a win for the environment. With estimates suggesting that millions of new trees pop up each year thanks to forgotten squirrel snacks, these furry little gardeners play a huge role in reforestation. In fact, they're critical to the survival of many nut-bearing trees. It's probably fair to say squirrels are helping grow forests worldwide one misplaced acorn at a time. 12. Knights and their scented armor. Medieval knights were all about chivalry, courage, and a dash of perfume. Encased in steel, they often battled the heat and odors trapped under heavy armor, so some knights added perfume to keep things a bit fresher. Popular scents of the time included musk and amber, along with botanical notes like jasmine and tuberose, prized for their strong, lasting fragrance. Perfumed armor became especially popular at tournaments where knights could impress spectators and mask the less glamorous realities of battle. Although it does make us look at them a bit differently. I mean, who would expect Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table to smell like musk and jasmine? 11. The first recorded spam message. The term spam as we know it actually originated from a 1970 Monty Python sketch, where a group of singing Vikings loudly chants, SPAM 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 over every conversation in the cafe serving the canned meat with every dish. It perfectly captured the feeling of being overwhelmed by something unwanted, which is why spam was later adopted to describe the flood of unsolicited messages. But the first ever recorded spam message dates back even further, all the way to 1864. A British dentist named Messrs. Gabriel tried drumming up business by sending an unsolicited telegraph to British politicians, earning their irritation and effectively becoming the world's first spammer. 10. The 18th Century Farting Club in 18th century London, the so-called farting club was exactly as wild as it sounds. This unusual society of men met weekly to, as one member described, poison the neighboring air with their unsavory crepitations. 
Preparing for club night was serious business. Attendees downed cabbage, onions, and laxatives, all for a night of competitive flatulence. According to writer Edward Ward, who documented London's oddest clubs, they even had official judges to rate each fundamental dispute among the members' performances. Refreshments included ale and juniper water, and the scene was so potent that the club's host had to burn rosemary to protect other patrons from the fumes. And in case of a brewer's miscarriage, yes, it's exactly what you think it means, a matron was on hand to inspect any <clears throat> uh, mishaps. Nine, the original eco-friendly baby gear. Before the days of disposable diapers, some parents went green, literally. In various indigenous cultures, moss was the go-to diaper material, thanks to its natural absorbency and gentle antiseptic qualities. In fact, both Scandinavian and Native American families found that a bit of sphagnum moss in a wrap could keep babies dry and comfy. This moss-based setup was practical, eco-friendly, and surprisingly effective centuries before plant-based products became a trend. 8. Victorian England's built-in mustache guards In Victorian England, a teacup wasn't just a teacup. It had to accommodate some serious facial hair. To protect the elaborate waxed mustaches of the day from melting into hot tea, inventors came up with a simple yet genius solution, the moustache guard. Invented by English potter Harvey Adams in the 1860s, mustache cups became a stylish essential for the mustachioed gentleman. The little ledge sat across the top of a cup, keeping the drinker's prized mustache dry and perfectly styled. 7. A 1,500-pound illusion If you were under the impression that Stranger Things was filmed in permanently chilly locations, think again. For Hawkins' snowy setting, Hollywood spent thousands of dollars per episode on over 1,500 pounds of fake snow and Epsom salt to achieve that perfect wintry look. However, they did make an exception when it came to the Russian prison scenes in season four. They shot the Russia scenes in Lithuania's Lukikes prison. This eerie early 20th century prison in Vilnius was the perfect stand-in for Hopper's Soviet-style captivity, giving the scenes a dark, authentic feel, without actually crossing into Russia. Six, alligator pear, anyone? Did you know that avocados used to be called alligator pears? The odd nickname was inspired by the fruit's bumpy, rough skin and pear-like shape, which reminded people of an alligator's texture. However, by the 20s, farmers decided they needed a more appealing name to market the fruit effectively. That's when avocado took over, and alligator pear slowly faded from everyone's memory. 5. The Ski-Through Experience In the small ski town of Lindvall in Sweden, there's a McDonald's where you can ski right up and order your favorite meal. Known as the McSki, this unique spot allows hungry skiers to grab a burger without ever having to take off their skis. It opened its door in 1996 and has since become a beloved pit stop for those hitting the slopes. But you have to wonder, does their ice cream machine actually work? 4. Bees love caffeine too. You know that fiendish caffeine addiction that sends us buzzing in and out of cafes every day? Well, bees are getting in on the action too. About 55% of flowering plants produce caffeine in their nectar. And guess what? Bees absolutely love it. In fact, they're more likely to choose the caffeinated nectar over the regular stuff. In a fascinating study published in Current Biology, researchers discovered that bees drinking caffeinated nectar not only got more excited, but also performed a more vigorous waggle dance when they returned to the hive. This dance is their way of telling other bees about the quality and location of their nectar finds. The caffeinated nectar makes them dance like it's the best thing ever, even if the nectar itself isn't necessarily top-notch. Really wish we communicated by dancing. There's a couple of TikTok slash Instagram videos that are doing that. They're awesome. Shout out to whoever you are, I cannot remember for the life of me. Three, the world's oldest joke. It might be tempting to think that our ancient ancestors were wiser than us, but the world's oldest joke would suggest otherwise. From a tablet found in Iraq, the ancient gem dates back between 2300 and 1900 BCE and says, something that has never happened since time immemorial. A young woman did not fart in her husband's lap. Yep. It's oddly reassuring to know that even in ancient Mesopotamia, toilet humor was alive and well. Two, the ocean's unlikely aviators. So, you think flying fish are impressive? Well, have you heard about the flying squid? Researchers in Japan have found that some members of the Amistrephidae family can soar up to 30 meters above the water, reaching speeds of about 36.7 feet or 11.2 meters per second. That's roughly as fast as Usain Bolt when he's sprinting. 
But these squids aren't just leaping out of the water, they have a unique technique. They propel themselves into the air and then stretch their fins and arms into a vertical position to stay airborne. This impressive maneuver likely helps them escape from predators, and since squid is a favorite snack for many marine creatures, being able to fly might just be their best defense. 1. We fitted mosquitoes with tiny helmets. Yes, we really did. D well, not, not us here at List 25 specifically, but it was all done to study mosquito brain activity in order to figure out how they process memories. Using a flight simulator, the researchers exposed the insects to various human scents, and the results actually were amazing. The research confirmed a popular belief that mosquitoes indeed find some people's blood sweeter than others, and remember those toasts often returning for seconds. Oh, crap. That's why I get bit a lot. Not only that, but the study also revealed mosquitoes are smarter than we thought. They can actually remember defensive hosts, like those who swat at them, and will avoid those people in the future even if they have tasty blood. That's not happened yet. So it's probably safe to say that it's high time we start defending ourselves because they'll remember and leave us alone, right? Right? <sighs> I wish. <laughs> not yet they have it. Oh, I get bit so much. Well, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed today's list, you'll love the previous video on 25 stunning facts that'll change your perspective on life. In that video, I explored just how mind-blowing our existence can be. For instance, did you know that your thoughts and beliefs are more than just abstract concepts? They carry actual energy and quantum information. Or that some apes have learned to use their natural remedies to heal themselves. I mean, if that sounds like your cup of tea, then click on the link right here. And I'll catch you, yeah, nailed it. Catch you next time. Woohoo!